The following is a study guide for the Activity Coordinator Fall Prevention Certification Exam, and while not every question is specifically stated in this guide, all the information covered in this exam is discussed and explained. In other words, you must have a good understanding of the information presented because I will not simply teach the test. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Hi, I'm Wayne Deloria, former National Director of Activity and Exercise for one of the largest senior care corporations in the United States and NASCAR pit crew coach for some of the top teams in NASCAR. I've been asked to bring you some of my secrets for training folks not to fall down. So if you're ready, let's drop the green flag and get started. I'd like to talk to you about shaker weights. Shaker weights are one of the best ways to develop proprioceptor sensitivity to external stimuli. You see, as we move, sensors called proprioceptors report speed and angles and balance to the brain. If proprioceptors provide late or faulty information, the system will fail, fall, and the body will have a greater likelihood of being injured. Proprioceptors are sensors that constantly determine the body's position and the way it moves through space. Changes in the tension of muscles and tendons provide information to the brain that determine whether the body is laying, sitting, standing, walking, running, or playing. Movement or action messages are sent to the cerebellum where they're transmitted into this information and it's used to determine what the body's response will be. This system sets up a stronger sense of coordination in the movements of the body. Some proprioceptors are able to transmit this information to such a minute level that they're considered to be kinesthetic. These proprioceptors make activities such as oh, getting dressed in the dark possible. This kinesthetic sense allows the mind to understand the position of the body without any visual aid. Let's consider blind people for a moment. Individuals who are blind are able to develop a heightened kinesthetic sense, which is sharpened along with their sense of hearing, and this allows them to move around in their world without getting hurt. The quick and smooth muscle movements that allow for coordination are essential for basic movement. Otherwise, the human body would fall down unexpectedly, risking injury. These reactions are produced at rapid speed and permit the flow of muscle movements that lead to coordination. Proprioceptors can be found in different areas of the body such as the inner ear and synovial joints, squeezed in between the tendons and the muscles, and in the framework of skeletal muscles. Inside the synovial joint capsules are proprioceptors known as joint kinesthetic receptors. When the individual joint moves, these proprioceptors respond with information for the brain that report on the movement and the position of the limb as it relates to the rest of the body. Neuromus Neuromuscular spindles are found in skeletal muscles, and more than in any other place in the body, neuromuscular spindles are found in the arms and the legs. As muscles stretch, the tension of the muscle changes. Neuromuscular spindles read this change and report it to the brain. These fibers not only relay information about the amount of stretch or tension, but the speed that the muscle changed its tension. The endings of these sensory neurons wrap around particular muscle fibers in order to sense the changes in these fibers, which in turn permits them to understand this information. This can best be illustrated by placing your hands on your thighs, and as you flex the muscles in your legs, a message is read by your hands and relayed to your brain. As your brain reads and understands the information, it quickly decides whether or not it has to adjust the body's position with relationship to space or the ground in order to keep from falling. Now just at the point where muscles and tendons meet, there are proprioceptors known as neurotendinous receptors. These are also referred to as Golgi tendon organs. And just like neuromuscular spindles do, when the muscle stretches or contracts, the proprioceptors of that tendon are stimulated and are able to gather the appropriate information and send it to the brain. So what does all this mean? It simply means that when your body loses its balance and it jerks in order to get back into balance, messages are sent to the brain from all over your body in order to let your brain know that it needs to use its eyes and the other senses to get back into balance, to do whatever is necessary to keep from falling down. And proprioceptors are the sensors that the body uses to do that. 